Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can do an anti-mass mention and an anti-mass um, line spam, I guess you could call it. Um, and yeah, so let's get right into it. A few things I'd like to address. Um, this kind of counts as a Q&A video um, where you can submit questions. I'm not going to be answering them. I said that I would be doing this in my Discord server, um, that I would be actually answering the questions but I got like six or seven questions from people and that's just not enough to make a video so I'm hoping that I can get some more questions from YouTube and combine them with discord and um, make a really good um, Q&A video for you guys to watch so um, and I think that's about it um, besides the fact that um, I want to address something that a lot of people have been asking me um, they want to know how you can have an auto mute, like an auto, um, like auto mod m mute, I guess you could call it. Um, and they're asking why, why it's not auto muting them for like pinging the user and stuff. Um, that's basically just because you don't have this code in this condition, this if statement. Um, so you just need to copy and paste it all the way down here. Um, it's a bit long, but yeah. So just go all the way down here to this ending bracket. Um, just copy it and then change some of the names like using filtered words using links um, just copy it inside of this if statement so you would like paste it like like um, right after here j j just delete this entire thing over here because it already has message delete and message that reply um, and w also one more thing people wanted um, the bot to warn them once for two infractions so to do that just add a return for example if they say a bad word and put a link then it will only warn them for whatever is the first in the index. So for example, a bad word instead of um, link. But if you don't want that and you want it to warn them twice for two infractions, then just take out this return. It's probably not even in your code because I didn't include that in the tutorial. But um, yeah, sorry for the rambling and let's get right into the video. So if message.mentions dot users dot size is greater than or equal to two then we want to message dot delete and return message dot reply you cannot mess mention users in this server um keep in mind that if you mass mention a bunch of bots this will not work because they're not actually users also if you spam ping the, the same person if you just like ping them like five times in the same message it won't count because it's only one ping it counts as one ping so make sure that you ping more than two uh users in your message for this to actually trigger um so yeah now that that's done that's literally just the simplest thing i could pro possibly do besides maybe this but um yeah that's just anti-mess mention right there now anti-line spam that's sort of different so I have to do a uh, try catch in order because um, when they send a message it's not always gonna have a, a line like break in it so it's gonna it's gonna shoot an error when you're trying to get the number of lines using the regex they're about to get um, and to combat this you're just gonna do a try catch error and yeah so now let's do var line array is equal to message.content.match and I'm pretty sure the regex was like slash n and then g and um, what this does is it uses this regex and it matches every single um, like character in the message content and it tries to find all of the new lines so in javascript slash n is just a new line um, I'm not sure for other languages because I don't really use other languages that much um, but slash n is a new line and basically when someone adds a new line for example like this um, this is a new line right here this is a new line this is a new line this is a new line so it will and actually I'm gonna increase this because it doesn't make sense to only have like two I would recommend like four maybe three um, and yeah, so it just gets an array, for example, like slash n, comma, slash n, comma, slash n. So if there's three new lines, then it'll just send this in the console if you're to console log this. 
or something like that. Um, I, th I think it's slash n, but it might be something else. Um, and yeah, so slash n, and then you just do far number, for example, is equal to line array dot length, and you just get the length of the array, and it tells you how many line breaks there are. So if, oops, new line. If number is greater than or equal to like four, actually, let me change this to two, and then this to four. I mixed them up. Um, then after that, what we want to do is we want to message that delete, obviously, as always, and return message that reply. You cannot line spam in this server, whatever you want. Um, and yeah, so that's just literally just it for both of these, except I'm not going to end off the video just yet, like, it's going to be like a five minute video and it's going to be extremely simple. Um, and I've been gone for a while, so I'm gonna give you two commands, a lock and unlock command. So, um, I already have this, um, pre- pre-coded, cause the last- the last time I tried recording this, first of all, the audio didn't record, and second of all, um, it took like 23 minutes and the frames were just completely all over the place. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna cut this really short and I'll just explain each line the best of my abilities, and yeah, let's just- Explain this and I'll have a paste bin for all of this stuff so you can just copy it and uh, follow along. So, cause discord is equal to card discord.js. Um, we're doing this because we're going to be using a message embed. You could also destructure this from discord. Um, like for example, um, like this and message, oops, caps lock, message, caps lock again, what? I just turned it off. Okay, there we go. Embed. You could destructure. You could destructure it from Discord.js. Um, but we're just going to be doing Discord. So um, now, our just uh, we're just going to be using our exports.run, which is our command handler, and we're going to be checking if they have managed channels. If they don't, then we will just completely ignore them. Const channels um, is equal to. We're just going to filter every single channel away from the categories because I think categories count as channels. I have no idea, but. Um, if they do, then we're just checking to see if the type does not equal category. Okay, then for each channel um, that, that we have from this, um, basically for each loop goes through every single um, available thing, so every single available channel in the guild. We're going to go through all of it and update the overwrites for the role at everyone to send messages as false. Then we're just going to send a simple um, confirmation embed. So, yeah. So now let's go to our unlock. Unlock is basically the same, except for the fact that um, we actually want to check to see if they have permission to send, like, in the first place. So what I mean is if you lock channels, it's going to lock hashtag general and, um, and like, like everything, and um, including hashtag rules, if you have a rules channel, or, like, a hello and goodbye, hashtag hello and goodbye, or whatever. Um, it's going to be locking those, and when you unlock this, it's going to um, set messages, send messages for everyone f to true, so they can actually type in your rules channel and everything else, and you definitely don't want that. So, we're basically grabbing the role from the guild, um, so const role is equal to message.guild.roles.cache.find, and the role name, you just put whatever role name it is, um, for me it's very fine. Then the role permissions, we're going to be checking the role permissions, it's very useful. Um, it, it took me a while to actually find this in the discord.js um, documentation and how to get the um, get it from all the bit fields that it that it console logs if you do console log this so const role permissions equal to channel dot permissions for and then the role verify so then we check to see if the if, if any of the role permissions that the verified role has for this channel includes send messages and if it does then we're going to send it to true otherwise um if they're not allowed to send messages so for example in rules if your verified role has send messages as false then after that it's just gonna not do anything it's gonna keep it as false for send messages for everyone so make sure that every single channel that you want them to talk in um, has verified set to set to can send messages. It can't be like in the middle, like that little slash sign. It has to be the check mark. And um, make sure that in the rules you set it to false, like the X, the red X for verified in rules. So that way it doesn't get confused. Um, 
whether or not it's true or false. So, yeah, then we just send a confirmation embed, and that's about it. Also, um, two more things. No, one more thing. Um, use a template literal, because I've seen people who come into the server, and, um, and they're not using a template literal, and it causes them some trouble. So, make sure that you're using a template literal, which is the backslashes, because I've seen people completely disregard that and just use regular um, quotation marks, that will not work. It will just send literally just this to the thing. And um, also I see people sp like spelling a bunch of things wrong. Um, so make sure to double check with the code before you ask for help from people. Because I've seen people s um, actually change up like this entire code to like whatever they want. Someone today like changed it to like bot and like message and like arguments or something like that it's um and then it said message not defined and they were asking why so i'm not trying to call anyone out i'm just trying to be helpful and um prevent anyone from getting any errors or having trouble with their code so yeah um should be about it i think so let's just test this really quick and then i'll be seeing you guys off until the next video which will hopefully be my Q&A video if people actually um, submit questions this time. Okay, let's go to Discord app, because I'm using Discord app for recording, because it uses less RAM. Um, here's my friend laughing his butt off um, while I said that my audio didn't record for the last one, and I have to redo it, and um, yeah, so this is why I'm going to be pinging him. Um, and who else can I ping? So I can't ping a bot, so I'll just ping, like, Okay, that's a bad word, no. And you cannot mess mention users and line spam. You cannot line spam. Let's try lock. Oh no, he's getting mad. <laughs> lock, uh, what's going on here? Discord is not defined. Did I spell it wrong again? Oh no, it's just lowercase for some reason. I could have sworn it put it as uppercase. And let's try save. Clear no space dot. Oops. Not no there. No space dot. Hey, what's up? <laughs> uh lock. Okay, I've successfully locked all channels. Um so he's owner, so he can type, but um if you go to edit channel and we can actually go and look at the permissions for the channel and you can see that it actually worked. Um, so if we scroll down, uh, at everyone, send message is false. So yeah, and then actually let me, let me do s for the verified rule and set, send messages to false for this because we need to test the other one too. Let's uh, view channel. I don't really know. Just send messages false. That's all I want. So what I was talking about the slash command. I not the slash command. The slash is just this, which is in the middle. Um, just make sure that's on the X. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay then. And let's unlock. Did I spell something wrong again? Unknown message. Oh my bot. My friend freaking crash blood that's absolutely amazing okay let's let's not crash the bot by the way it, it's it's not like an actual error what okay so discord api error i actually had people ask me this discord api error unknown messages um so this is basically when you want to when you want the bot in the code to delete a message but the message is already deleted so i bet he like deleted the message and then i don't know I have no idea what he's doing, but, um, unlock, and now we unlocked it, but should have at everyone to still have it as false. Yep, send messages as false. But then, uh, for general, where verified has permissions to send, actually I'm not sure if it does. No, it doesn't, okay, I need to send this, but yeah, if it was, then it would work. So, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope my FPS did not drop to, like, under, like, four at any point in time. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.